This guide is aimed at players who are new to the game but have finally hit level 15. If you're wanting a guide for fresh characters, look back on my channel for the fresh guide. Enjoy. So you grinded hard and you finally hit level 15. It's time to pick a job. Which job should you pick? Well, this question can be extremely easy or extremely hard. We'll start by explaining what each job is. Some of you will be okay choosing with just that info, but some of you may want a bit more info. So we'll do that second so people can skip if they want. There's four jobs in Fly FF. First off, we have the mercenary. This is the warrior, getting up close and smacking enemies with your weapons. Second, we have the acrobat. This class can choose between long-range bows and close-range yo-yos. Third is the assist. Its name is exactly right. It assists. Most assists will go for a buff dash healing build, but playing solo is basically impossible with this build. So, there is also a build that uses knuckles to punch down their enemies. Last but not least is the magician. These spellcasters can nuke down enemies with powerful spells. If this is all the information you needed, you can skip ahead to the time listed below to continue the guide. If you want more information, please stay tuned. Pinya. Pinya. It's 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 everything. It rules the world. It gets you strength. Happiness. Pinya is everything. But why do I bring this up when I'm talking about jobs? Well, the answer is quite complicated, but I must at least give a brief explanation to better educate new players into what they're getting into when choosing a job. Let's think back to the three questions I posed in the first guide. What's the highest level mob I can kill? How long does it take to kill it? And how much EXP does it give? Looking at these three questions, we can improve the answer to all of them by giving our character power. We can get extra power by equipping better gear. Better gear costs Pena. Or alternatively, you can power up through the cash shop, which can then later be sold for, you guessed it, Pena. Thus, the equation is more Pena equals more power. More power equals more EXP, more EXP equals more levels. So what does this have to do with which job you should choose? Well, different jobs are affected by gear in different ways. For example, rangers tend to need a lot of critical strike and a lot of critical strike damage. These are achieved by awakening gear and gear sets. To keep things simple for the beginner's guide, this means their gear tends to be much more expensive due to how awakenings happen and gear sets only being found through random drops of mobs. This does not by any means mean that you should not pick Ranger, but it is important to keep in mind as you'll probably be doing a lot more grinding for Pinya to get the gear you need to level efficiently. So what is the cheapest class and what's the most expensive class? This answer depends on level and what build you're going for. So, here is what I have found through my experiences with FlyFF. Magicians tend to be the cheapest, assists tend to be the second cheapest, mercenaries third, and acrobats last. Remember, this is not fact, it's not the answer to life, and it's not set in stone. Others may have different experiences due to the economy always shifting but it may be worth keeping in mind and asking the community what the current prices are looking like if it's going to ultimately influence which job you're going to pick. So yeah, picked your new job and you're raring to go. Okay, now what? Well, you're gonna head back to Flaris. You're gonna head to this area over here and you're going to see several NPCs with quests. Each NPC is named with the job their quest represents. Pick up the quest you need, and then press Q. Head to the General tab, expand First Job Change, and track your quest by ticking the checkbox. Once tracked, you can click any NPC or quest item name to get an arrow that will point you in the correct direction. Complete this set of short quests, and you'll be on your way to your new job in no time.
Thank you so much for watching the second part, guys. I can't thank you enough for the support I've gotten off of the first one going into the second one. I hope this one was just as good, and I want to keep making more. You guys can kind of see the direction I'm going, and I just want to keep getting more complicated and more complicated as I pump these guides out to make you the Fly FF Pro you want to be. Well, if you like it, please hit uh, subscribe and check out my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv forward slash TV. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.